Hey guys, it's me Ryan. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I kind of have a um, like sewing area slash room, craft room, whatever um, kind of organization because I've done one of these videos before and I actually done very well. And I know I know that I like to watch people um, redo or organize their sewing rooms. I just find it really relaxing. Um, so what I've got to do today is I need to tidy all of this mess up. Um, because I've got a lot of, not a lot of uni work to do, but I've got a lot of design work to do. And in order for me to have a clear mind, I've got to have like a clear space. Um, I don't know if that's the same with you guys. I know like when I'm trying, when I'm uh, making things or doing projects, I like to keep my sewing room um, as uh, clean and as tidy as I can because it makes my mind feel a bit more clear that way um, I can't work in just a room full of mess or clutter um, it, I just can't do it um, So what I'm doing today is I'm tidying it all up You guys have seen my sewing room before I think um, When I actually redone it first of all um, But it kind of um, looks really different now because I've added pegboards I've added a new blind um, and just a few things like that So I don't exactly have a sewing room um, like per se Like it's not exactly a room dedicated it's a sewing and fashion it's just one small side of my bedroom um, which I'm really really grateful for because it is a decent sized space but it, it really isn't big enough I can't cut fabric here or I can't make patterns because I don't have the table space and I can't use the floor because one it's carpet and two um, it's just not enough floor space anyway so I'm gonna give you guys an overview overview of what my sewing room looks like right now um, and basically the mess that it's in and then we will um, put on a few new pegboards up because I got kind of a big delivery from Ikea this morning so I got two new pegboards and a lot of pegs and some storage baskets to go on that um, I'm gonna use the storage basket for my zips and I'm gonna use the um, these pegboards are specifically for all my threads um, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview of my current sewing area so this is an overview of my current sewing slash craft area as you can see it's really untidy and messy and a lot of that has just simply got to do with I just don't have enough space um, so typically here um, is almost like the tidiest section because it's just my sewing machine and um, I like to keep my Red Bull there because I need energy throughout the day um, and over here I got my skills for shipping for Etsy and then as you can see over there I've got a bunch of zips and overlocker threads as well as on my windowsill here I've got a lot of overlocker thread and um, some more zips and things um, so as you can see, it just kind of just needs to tidy up. Um, I used to have my printing press there, but that's since just moved to the floor right now because I need a desk space. And I do plan on getting a desktop a Mac because my computer lately has been going very, very slow. And I think it's on its way out because it's kind of old now. Um, but what I've got today to do, like I said, I bought some pegboards. So I'm going to put them across this back wall here. Um, of course, as you can see, can probably see that wall isn't as big as the pegboard simply because the desk is there so I'm gonna be able to use just over half of the pegboards but that is completely fine um, because I am only using them for overlocker thread and um, sewing machine thread and just a few other things and like I said I'm gonna pop my zips in um, the baskets so to the first task today is before I even tidy up everything I'm just gonna put these pegboards on the wall and get them up So the pegboards are finally up. Um, it took me longer than I thought because I put them in the wrong position first and then um, I had to hold them while screwing them and with one hand that isn't the easiest. But I did it and um, they're up and they're solid so now we can put all the threads on. So what I done was I bought a lot of these um, things from Ikea and I'm going to use them to put my overlocker thread on. I have a few colours, um, four, spools, four spools of each colour and about four colours that I want to put up because um, these are just for threads and stuff. And then I bought two of these bags to put the zips in because I have um, a lot of zips here as you can see in bags. And then I purchased, um, ignore that bottle, that is from a while ago, I purchased 30 of these things from Etsy and these are designed to put on pegboards um, in order to put gutterman thread on like regular sewing thread like these little spools 
so I'm going to put them up. Of course, I don't have that much thread now, but I bought them because, um, as I, my future, um, I bought them because as my sewing career grows, um, of course, I'm going to accumulate more thread as I go along, so we have a lot of space for that. I have so many zips and I buy a lot simply because I always find really good deals um, and when you find really good deals it's kind of hard it's hard to resist because like these zips work out like 50 pence each when in the shops they're about sometimes two and three pound so that's why I buy a lot simply because the deals I never buy anything practically from the shops because you can always find better online or someone that's reselling local for example these threads were all two pound um, or less per corn um, from a lady um, actually about 20 minutes on a bus from me because her uncle um, had to close his haberdashery shop from because of coronavirus so all of these moon threads were really cheap and um, I'm gonna go back and get more and because just because they're cheap and I can fit more on I probably fit about another row there um, or maybe more so yeah um, now I'm gonna put all my Gutemann threads up this is currently what it looks like I'm really really happy um, i could probably definitely fit two more rows of thread there so that's exciting that's more thread um, my zips are all in there i have a spare bag there so um i'll see if i can put that on one of my other pegboards and then i have all of that space for my um, little gutterman threads which i will put all of these holders for them up in a second but right now i'm just going to tidy up the space and then give you guys a full tour of my completed sewing area So starting from this side of the room, this is kind of my more workspace for like uni um, and also for my prints. Um, as you guys know, I do run a um, line of cut print business. Um, it's just kind of a little thing I do on the side. Um, so this is kind of where all that happens. So over there on the wall, as you can see, I keep my mini ironing board along with some tracing paper there for when the time comes, when the, I do use commercial patterns, I tend to trace them off. And then down there, I have my printer and a bin and then a drawer, which is got some packing supplies in for when I sell some things on Depop. Then we have this pegboard here, which is pretty much all my printmaking stuff. So over there, as you guys can see, I have brayers or rollers to ink up the block. I then have um, a like a roll holder with stickers on for my um, packaging and then down below that I have some sharpening tools for my for my blades and then there are my cutting tools there hanging up um, and then I have like a cute plant that is simply just for decoration and looks really nice then up top here I have the printing ink that I started with this is really basic water-based printing ink which I find um, dries too quick for me but I do use it for tests or if I want to quickly print something that I know isn't going to go in the washing machine um, but mostly for test prints and also on cards um, and then on the shelf below I have more printed stuff so there is my fabric ink and then I have some um, like medium printing medium so if I ever use acrylic paint I can put that in and it becomes a textile medium and then here I have um, some stamps in the back and thank you cards for packaging and then I just have some Singer sewing machine oil which I use on my overlocker and then down below here um, this is my actual printing ink this is really high quality oil based printing ink by Cranfield um, a lot of people in the prints business use it and I am fortunate enough to be able to use that so I have all the primary colours along with some dry medium black white and some extender which is a medium for printing ink just to increase transparency and then here I have a lamp this is from Ikea um, it's just a lamp that you can move so it goes up down and you can move it like left and right and that is really useful for the night when of course I don't have all these lights on and I'm doing some uni work in my sketchbook on designing um, that's there for that 
and then I moved my cutting mat, which used to be under my sewing machine over here, simply because um, it was literally getting no use under my sewing machine, it made no sense for it to be there. So I moved it to this side, and this is where I do all my um, digital computer work, my video editing, um, my sketchbook work, pretty much anything, and also my printmaking I do here, um, and pretty much anything that's like uh, paper based. Um, or if I'm cutting out some fabric, like small fabric patches, which I do sell on my Etsy, um, I will cut them here. Um, so this is kind of this area, and then we have the windowsill with, with just a little LED light on, and then some pencil parts with just pens and things like that in. Then moving over to this side, um, this is kind of where mainly all the sewing stuff is, and this is where it gets really exciting in my opinion. So. Over here I have um, my overlocker. I do have a video on my overlocker unboxing. I have a full um, guide for beginners on the overlocker, which I think you guys found really useful because it's my most viewed YouTube video yet. Um, that is my overlocker. It's the Janome 6234XL. It's a fantastic overlocker. It is one of the more premium Janome overlockers, but it was well worth the money. And then here I have pegboards, a massive fan of IKEA pegboards simply because they're cheap and they are really useful. So on this one here above I just keep my university timetable, oh by the way these are racks just for when I hang prints or fabric to dry. Um, but I have my um, rulers here so that is a just a really long, um, they say it's like a quilting ruler but it's 6 by 24 inches. And then I have my pattern master and my French curve hanging there. Um, here I have some like um, storage container things, so I have my tracing wheel there, some threads for some shishiko stitch in there, um, my buttons I keep in there, and then here I just have some chalk and some thread and then my pattern notches. Then on this pegboard I keep all my scissors, so those are my Fisker scissors, they're the ones I always use, they are amazing. Them um, are really cheap fabric scissors I got from Denelm, they were literally like £4, but I use them for paper cutting now because they're just so much better. Um, and then down here I have some more um, scissors which I purchased off Amazon a really long time ago um, for cutting fabric. They are also the same ones we use in university. Then I have some tiny slips there which are, I use every single time I sew for cutting threads and also some other little scissors. Then a rotary cutter which I never use unless I'm cutting fabric patches. And then we have um, some rulers there and that is a USB light. So I have my measuring tapes and my um, curve ruler which is bendable which is fantastic for pattern making. Then we have um, down below we just have some blocks I use for printing and then that is a little Bluetooth printer which so I could print little stickers for my phone. Um, it's a phone memo, um, it's fantastic. Um, and then over there in that corner I just have my um, ham, my tailor's ham for pressing darts and curved seams and things like that. That there is just my journal so that's where I keep on more of my tasks I have to do daily so I actually do everything. So then this is what you guys just saw me put up. So this is my pegboard and where I keep all my thread and this is now my favourite part of the sewing room because it's really bright and colourful and I can't wait to add more threads. So up there I have a plant again for decoration then I have a little box of supplies that came with my overlocker and then what that is sitting on there, that little brown box, is in fact um, some letter stamps so I can do cards. Then there we have overlocker thread. I use quartz moon thread on my overlocker. I find it's the best. Then I have another roll holder which um, holds all my bias binding, which is very, very useful. And then coming over to my new pegboards, I again just keep all my overlocker thread on here. And then um, again, quartz moon thread. Down there um, is my shipping skill for when I'm shipping things off Etsy. And then coming over to this pegboard, I have a little basket which I keep all my zips in some more thread holders which I keep my bobbins and my um, sewing machine thread and in that basket there holds um, like spare holders and just like toilet roll for when I clean the desks and things like that. And then now over to my baby, this is the my sewing machine, again this is quite new, I've added about a month now, I did an unboxing of this, you can find it on my channel. This is the Janome Atelier 7, it's a really expensive sewing machine but it's very very worth it, um, I didn't have the space for an industrial. Um, when I actually eventually do have a room dedicated to sewing, because this is literally one side of my bedroom, 
um, I will get an industrial um, overlocker and um, sewing machine but for now this is fantastic um, it's kind of heavy duty as well so it's really useful um, and yeah I absolutely love it um, again if, if you guys have the money or the budget I definitely recommend this machine and I will have a follow review on it coming soon um, I just haven't used it enough yet to actually say whether it's fantastic or not um, as in like a long term review but so far it has been fantastic and then lastly over here we have another one of them lamps so I could put on if I want extra light when I'm sewing or I tend to put it on in the night when if I read before I go to bed and things and then just beside there we have a little like tray um, I just keep my sewing supplies in there I use all the time so my seam picker my tweezers um, I have a measuring tape in there I have some fabric glue and then we have Vaseline because my lips go really dry in the nights especially in the winter and then we just have my water bottle this is another quick overview of my sewing room again it's literally my baby I absolutely love it and um, I'm so happy with the progress I have made and I can now say that it is finally complete so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed. Like I said, my sewing room or sewing area is now complete and I honestly couldn't be happy with this. Um, my actual first video on my channel is actually when I first got these desks and started my sewing area. I think that was about nine months ago, maybe. Um, and as I think that was about May 2020, so almost a year ago. And I just want to let you guys know I did not accumulate all this stuff and compared to some other sewers, I don't have much. Like I don't have much of a fabric stash. And my fabric I actually keep under my bed because the bed lifts up um, but I just have like a few boxes of fabric that I have plans for I don't really hoard fabric simply because one I don't see the point because if there's fabric on sale I will buy it um, if I want it but I just want I won't buy fabric just for the sake of it one because it's expensive and two because there's literally no point and no space um, but that's where I keep my fabric um, but like I said this stuff I haven't accumulated overnight um, I just accumulate over time and um, when I need things I will buy them I, just, I won't buy things just for the sake of it um, I bought these pegboards because I needed the space um, but yeah this is my completed sewing area and I'm really really happy every time I get out of bed um, I feel immediately inspired and um, I'm just really really happy with the overall area and the way um, everything has come together so thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up also be sure to comment down below videos you want to see I um, mean it could be anything from vlogs to tutorials if you guys want to know how to do anything please let me know below and I will 100% help you as much as I can and if you want to check out my print it's totally up to you um, I have an Instagram that is just Southworld's print and also an Etsy store and they are both linked down below and yeah um, I have some really exciting things coming guys I'm working on loads of things behind the scenes and I am um, trying my best to get more consistent with YouTube because I am growing quite fast I'm um, considering and I'm just really really grateful for all your support and this is something I truly enjoy and fashion and sewing is my passion so I'm about to die but as I was saying sewing and fashion is my passion um, that rhymes but it's true thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys